So let's have another the best competitive Fortnite settings, guys. First of all, Windowed mode, of course, you want to utilize full screen. Stretch resolutions, I'm going to show you later how to apply one on NVIDIA and AMD. VSync completely turned off, frame rate limit to 360 FPS, or just simply what refresh rate you're rocking right now. You could go theoretically a little bit higher as well, which is going to result in less delay. Rendering mode, of course, the performance mode, guys, and AMD finally fixed it. I can highly recommend it as well for AMD. So therefore, try out for AMD and NVIDIA, first of all, the performance mode, but on some AMD GPUs, DirectX 12 might be better. But definitely for NVIDIA and Intel, utilize the performance mode. Brightness, I have on 100%, user interface contrast 1x. I'm going to put right near on screen a comparison of all colorblind modes so you can decide for yourself which one looks the best. For me personally, guys, try to upset to 7 still looks the best. 3D resolution, of course, on 100%. You could go something between like 80 to 90% if you actually want to increase your FPS or go as well a little bit lower if you're on a super low end PC. And by the way, also giving away free battle passes, so comment down below battle pass and I'm gonna pick a winner in the next five days. Viewing distance on near, this gives you around 350 meters, you don't need more. Textures on low, meshes on low, and super important, guys, report performance sets you want to put on disabled. Then let's go over to the actual game settings, select directly your region where you're playing on, now for movement, on, auto open doors on as well, mental activation, hold jump, brittle activation, press jump, and then you gotta scroll down a little bit. Preferred item slot, guys, this is what I have configured, you can copy it if you want to. And of course, replace, you wanna completely turn off, guys, this just costs performance, so therefore turn it off. Now super important as well, double movement, guys, just simply scroll down, these are the best double movement settings in my opinion, this is also what Clix is using, and now let's continue with all the other steps. Having the best comp settings is useless if your NVIDIA profile inspector isn't set up correctly. There's a bunch of more options in here than the NVIDIA control panel, so therefore I'm gonna show you how to do it. Put Fortnite into the profile and press enter. Wait for it to fully load. Run the sync and refresh. Disable everything in terms of G-Sync. Off, disallow, force off, off. Off. Maximum pre rendered frames you get it put to 1 if you have a mid to high end PC. This can reduce input delay but potentially decrease FPS, so you get to try it out with how strong your PC is. Preferred refresh rate you're gonna put on highest available. Vertical sync forced off, unless you have 60 or 75 Hz, they can try it out. And the same as well with all the vertical sync modes. FXAA enabled you're gonna put on off, FXAA enabled predefined by Nvidia as well on this allowed, gamma correction on, on. transparency multi sampling disabled, super sampling on off slash multi sampling, anti aliasing mode on application control. Then let's go to textures and filtering, antistrophic filter optimization on, on, sample optimization on, on as well, prevent antistrophic filtering on, off, LOD bias on, allow, texture filtering quality on, high performance, and texture filtering optimization on, on, and antistrophic filtering mode on, application control. Press apply and you're good to go. How to make your Fortnite super colorful like your favorite pros? Open up the NVIDIA control panel, go to change desktop color settings, scroll down, then you can see digital vibrance, put it to plus 75%. Go under video, then here under video you can see adjust video color settings settings, select your main monitor, go under with the NVIDIA settings, go down as well, and then you put your saturation to plus 75% as well. Click apply and you're done. Guys, trust me, outdated network drivers can actually increase your ping by so much. That's why we need Snappy Driver. Get it from the link, extract everything into a new folder, click on the auto bed. If Windows protection pops up, click under run anyway, click under yes. In here, you're gonna click under accept. Once this window pops up, click under download indexes only. In the meanwhile, open up your task manager. Under performance, you can see Ethernet, and then you can see your network adapter. For me, it's the real tech gaming one. So what I'm going to do is scroll down all the way until I can find it. Then you gotta find your network adapter, which for me is right now your Intel Wi-Fi or Realtek, but I already upgraded that one. Put the check here and click on install. And then it's going to automatically update it. Next up, I made a tool which is gonna help you to reduce your processes with one click. This is super important, guys, so therefore please watch. You can get it from my discord.gg slash straps in the performance packs channel. Run as administrator, click on the yes. You can see we have a bunch of very unnecessary services which you can disable with ease. Just let me press one to apply tweaks and you can also revert it if you type in two. Just let me put in one and it's going to automatically apply all of the changes. As mentioned, these are all services which you don't need 100% on your PC, but if you're not sure, that's why I built in the revert button. Sadly, I cannot turn it into EXE because it might give me a false report. This is when you try to put bad files into a PS EXE. But I hope you enjoyed. And of course, guys, the most important part is as well your ping. This is why you see FNCS winners like Mero, Asian Jeff, and many more pros use Jira Booster. The best part is with my link in the description, you can actually try it out for absolutely free guys. Geo Booster is gonna look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping guys, it's still worth it because it's gonna make it way more consistent. The Geo Booster is gonna actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description guys. Now this next step is super important guys, we're going to increase our virtual memory. You want to make sure to apply this 100% guys, this is super important especially on 8 to 16 gigs of RAM. Search up adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Then you can see virtual memory, click on the change, uncheck automatically manage paging files, 
and then you're gonna put it to custom. Open up your calculator. If you have, let's say, eight gigs of RAM, you're gonna put in eight times 1024, since one gig of RAM is 1024 Mbit. Your initial size should be 8192. Then for the maximum size, you just simply gotta double it times two. So it's 16384. Click on the set and you're good to go. Continue with whatever RAM speed you have. Now I'm going to show you how to apply stretch resolution, something like 1720 times 1080, which is Peter Boat once. Open up the NVIDIA control panel, go on the display, change resolution, make sure to select your right monitor, then and select your native resolution, click under customize, enable resolutions not exposed by the display, create custom resolution, put in there whatever resolution you want to create, let's say 1680 times 1080, the maximum refresh rate of your monitor, click under test, and now it should be saved under custom resolutions. Right click onto your desktop, go under display settings, and select exactly the resolution which you want to utilize, tap in your window search bar presenter time presenter, click under local, press F for Fortnite game, saved, config, windows client, Open up your game user settings, scroll down a little bit, and make sure that for both of these resolution sizes X and Y, you change it exactly to the resolution which you want to apply. And I'm going to show you how to do it for AMD. And this is how you set up a stretch resolution on AMD. Just simply open up AMD Adrenaline, then go under gaming, then you can see display here. And then once we're in here, we can see when we scroll down custom resolution. I'm gonna open this one up. I already created here 1280 times 1080 and 1440 times 1080. And let's say that we wanna create another one, right? Let's go for maybe 1680 times 1050, which is actually model stretch resolution. And now you can see some people have here error with G pixel clock. And what you gotta do is actually put this one here to zero, go under manual and put it to CVT reduce blinking. Don't be worried about this part here. This is at the moment a bug with the AMD control panel. Just simply click under create. And you can see we have the brand new resolution as well correctly clocked at 360 hertz created now. Now if you want to select any of these stretch resolutions, you just simply have to go here back onto your desktop, go into display settings, and in here scroll down, go into advanced display, and then we have here display adapter properties, display one, and in here we can see now list all modes. Click on it, and in here now guys, you can select exactly your profile, let's say as an example here, 1440 times 1080 with 360 hertz, and if you now have bars on the side guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this. Just simply go back into your AMD software, and here under scaling mode, you gotta put it to full panel. If you already had it on full panel, just simply put it onto center and then go back to full panel and it's going to again like repair kinda. I'm not quite sure if you can see now in the recording, but I'm playing now on stretch res and could hop into Fortnite. But here again guys, before we hop in game, you have to as well make sure to put again your stretch resolution as well into your game user settings, just like previously with Nvidia. And here you guys can see I have almost a thousand FPS while not even looking into the sky. My game feels really good and I'm of course here also right now on my low end 1v1 map guys, just let me search up list stripes. It's legit the best 1v1 map. And I gotta say, this year actually feels so good and so smooth. I hope this video actually helped you out. I really test out all of these tweaks before I actually give them to you guys to make sure that of course I don't tell you something which is not gonna be beneficial. But yeah, if I can do this at 23 years old, then you can do this as well. And also make sure to check out the two videos which are right now on screen guys, where I'm going to show you step by step how to optimize your network adapter. And the other one is how to use a custom OS like Atlas OS.